We are back with the Washington Redskins franchise here on Madden 18. Week number eight, about to take on the Philadelphia Eagles, a team that is surprisingly struggling, two and four, trying to turn their season around. We have yet to lose, and uh, you can see the weather. Will it play an effect here in week number eight? And before we get to that, before we get to uh, this week, you can see Dylan Huntington has really stepped up, and with Joseph McNeil, we'll be back soon. We've, to try, we've uh, decided to trade Ezekiel Anza and actually get a number one pick to Atlanta we gave it before. So getting a trade in there before the trade deadline, getting rid of a guy we might not need and getting a high return. So we do that. And now we are underway here in week number eight. That's going to be out of the end zone. Touchback in Philadelphia will start at the 25-yard line. Like I said, two and four, a struggling team. Going to try to get a, a big victory here and propel their season. You see Carson Wentz really not doing half bad of a job. Their defense is uh, pretty stout still. They just cannot seem to get victories. And on second and five, they'll find Zach Ertz up to the 44-yard line, getting a gain of 14. As for our Redskins team coming off a huge blowout victory against the Texans, our team has looked dominant so far as Tevin Coleman takes off, and he will be down to the 36-yard line for a first down. So our team looking dominant, and we're going to try to continue it here and really put away this Eagles team. If we can get them to 2-5 and five on the season, uh, they're going to have some tough, uh, tough troubles uh, getting to the playoffs. But right here on this first drive, they are moving it here. Wentz on second and seven, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett, who's had a fantastic... Actually, they're going to say Howard got the sack, but I think really it was Garrett with Howard's there. But either way, that should be a half sack for each one of them. Now third and 11 here from the 20. Wentz looking. Perfect touch pass to Ertz. That is an amazing pass there, completed, get the first down, and down to the one, great first drive here for Zach Ertz, three catches, 50 yards, first and goal from the one, Coleman, he is stuffed, not going anywhere there, Clinton Stevens on the stop, so now go to third and goal here from the three, lining up in the goal line formation, back to Kevin, Kevin Coleman, he's going nowhere, we get the defensive stop, hold him to three, and now that'll give our offense a chance. And Andrew Luck really, through these uh, first seven weeks, almost an MVP-type number, 16 touchdowns, one interception. He has been outstanding. And Jordan Howard here has been got he really you know, going here. Uh, struggled a little bit early on last week, almost 100 yards, two touchdowns, and that blowout victory really came on late. And he's really been a closer for us uh, this season. As on third and three, Luck is going to take that slide there, get the first down. And it'll be up to the 39-yard line to move those chains. So 434 left in this first quarter. Luck stands in the pocket. He's going to find Perryman. Perryman's going to make a move. Makes a juke move. Gets a block from John Ross. And he's going to be off to the races. And Perryman speed. You're not going to catch him there. Getting the touchdown. So obviously that's going to be the storyline really going into this game. How will our receivers step up? Because obviously our top receiver, Thompson, is down for a few weeks. So how will these guys step up? Perryman obviously had a pretty good year last year. You can see the moves. You can see the teamwork with the blocking and everything. Outstanding job by Perryman and Ross and everybody there. We get the big time score and now we'll take the lead here in the first quarter, seven to three. So how will this Eagles team respond to that big play? They'll go right back to Coleman and he will pick up a nice gain of about six or seven yards there. And now make this a third and one. They are spreading everybody out. Wentz looking. And that's a perfect pass there. That's Nelson Aguilar with the catch. And he has the first down to the 39-yard line. So first and ten. Wentz looking, bringing the blitz. Nice blitz pickup, but he can't find anybody open. And he's going to run out of time there. We'll get the sack. Knock down Wentz. So make this another third and long. So we got to do just keep them in these third and longs and make them try to convert these. As Wentz, what is that throw going across the body? And that's going to be picked off. Uh, Byrama there with the interception. I think he's had a few of these. Obviously, he had last week had someone similar where it was uh, thrown across his body. He picked it off for the touchdown. Wentz making a terrible decision there. And let's see if we can take advantage. So 30 seconds left here in this first quarter. Watch out. Luck is going to go down. Fletcher Cox there with the sack. And like I said before, this Eagle team still pretty stout up front on the defensive side of the ball. So we'll have to watch that as uh, our offensive line is going to be tested here. Third and 13, and playing man coverage, not looking at the quarterback. Lutz going to take off, taking himself, and really probably could have got 15 yards out of that getting tackled uh, when he was clearly out of bounds. But 
We'll take the first down. So now first and 10. We're going to hand off to Otha Perry, and he is going to pick up about nine yards there up to the 35-yard line. So second and one here in the second quarter. Back to Otha Perry, and he gets tripped up there, and I think he's just going to be a tad short there of the first down. So this will bring up a third and one. We're going to bring Howard back into the game, and Howard getting stuffed, but he just keeps the drive, those legs forward, and he will pick up the first down to the 32, moving the drive along. So second down here. Luck, watch out. Just going to get rid of it just in time. Perryman's going to break a tackle, breaks another one, and gets what he can get there. Only picking up about four yards, but uh, could have been worse if Luck wouldn't have got rid of that ball in time. So Graham Bay third down here. Luck stepping into the pocket. Only four brought for Philadelphia, but they're going to get home there. Cox again with the sack. So we'll have to settle for three. So at least we get three from the interception there. And now we have a 10-3 lead. And back on defense. Man, the coverage is good, and the pressure is getting home as we get Dwentz again. Bringing up a third and 13. He's just going to have to go underneath the Alshon Jeffrey. Not too much there. And Philadelphia is going to go three and out here and have to punt the ball. So the offense has a chance right back on the field to really wear down this Eagle defense. And that's great blocking there by George Kittle on the outside, allowing Howard there to get wide and get up the field for the first down. So 5.57 left here in the first. Bringing the blitz again. Luck's going to get outside the pocket and just missing Ross there. Ross so far quiet. Nothing really. So he won't even attempted four passes on this game. And we're five minutes left here in the half. Third and seven. Luck getting, somehow getting out of that pocket there. And he's going to take it himself. So this has been the story so far. Luck using his legs to pick up first downs. The Eagles coverage has been fantastic. And they're getting pressure, but Luck's just getting out of it. And there we go. Finding Perryman down the seam for the first down. The biggest play, obviously, other than the touchdown pass, has been Perryman, really, the story here. And he picks up his third catch and a first down. Second in line, Luck dropping back, and he finds John Ross there on the post pattern down to the five-yard line. So now we have a chance to put this one up to at least a uh, two-touchdown lead here with 3.30 left in the first half, and Howard's going nowhere. Eagles ready for that. Brandon Graham, nice job setting the edge there and bringing him down. So third and goal here. Going down here to the two-minute warning. Luck looking, trying to find something. Can't find anything. He's going to run out of time, and he's going to go down. And that'll be a sack. Knock us to the uh, two-minute warning. So we'll pick up a field goal, make this a 13-3 game here. And the Philadelphia Eagles trying to get something here before the half. Wentz is going to step up. He's going to drop, drop this one to Alshon. Jeffrey makes a nice spin move. Picks up a maybe about three to four more yards. And now Philly is going to hurry this one up. Still have the three timeouts. As Wentz dropping back, he's going to go deep right off the bat there, right off from the end. He's going to find Brennan beating P.J. Williams there. So big-time play there by Philadelphia. And they're down to the 25-yard line. So now they can kind of just use the clock however they want to. Second and eight, Wentz is going to find a wide open. Tevin Coleman makes the move and tackled at the three. So they'll use their first timeout. So here we go again. Can we stuff him here? First and goal. Wentz looking. Rolling out of the pocket. Pressure in his face. And he finds his receiver for the score. Fisher Milliner with the touchdown there. But what a play by Wentz. Rolling out of the pocket. Pressure in his face. Throws across his body pretty much. And gets the score. So Philadelphia takes advantage. And now we have a ball game here. 13-10 with 40 seconds left. And first and ten, we're going right back at it. Luck going deep to John Ross. He finds him, and Ross is in for the score. Unbelievable 77-yard touchdown. And just like that, right before halftime, we answer back with one play. Ross hitting the big-time score there. And that's been the story of the half here for us. Huge touchdown plays by Perryman and Ross giving us the 20-10 lead here in this ball game so Philadelphia is going to have to stop the big plays and uh, have to get something going on offense they had a couple they had a chance there in a goal line situation only coming away with a field goal but the big plays has really pro propelled us here as we head to the second half and we have another nice play here as Howard runs for about 12 yards they're going to give him 13 up to the 41 for the first down he has definitely been a second half back and really closed out games and for us this year. Can he do the same? Second and seven. Hitting O.J. Howard there. Nice throw by Luck. Perfect. Right in front of the defender there. Up to the 34-yard line. 
and give us another first down. So third and two here from the 26. We're going to Howard on the run, and he is going to just power forward there, picking up the first down, moving the chains along. So bring up a third and ten, bringing a blitz off the edge. It is picked up, and Luck probably could have ran, ran it there himself and gotten it, but he dumped it off to Perriman. Hopefully he would try something. But he cannot pick up the first down, so we get a three, uh, three points off the board here uh, to start the half and make this a 23-10 lead. Here with 7.30 left in this third quarter. As this is going to bring up a third down here for Wentz and company. He is looking, and he can't find his man. He was open there. Ertz, an accurate throw, incomplete. So they go three and out. And now our offense right back at it again. As Perryman, he was covered by Jordan Hicks there. I'm not sure what kind of – you don't want to leave a coverage there uh, with his speed you know, to a linebacker, even though Hicks has good speed. Mismatch there. We take advantage and pick up the first down. Now second and ten. Luck. Oh, man, he had O.J. Howard there wide open. And he misses them there. And that'll be incomplete. So third and ten. Luck looking. Has time to throw. Almost makes a huge mistake. Luckily, that was not intercepted. And we will have to punt. So back and forth now. Just punts going. Wentz bring the blitz. He gets rid of it in time. Perfect touch throw to Ertz there. Man, you cannot place that ball any better there. And he pick up the first down up to the 39-yard line. So another third down here for Philadelphia. Only bringing four, dropping back into coverage. He's going to dump this one off to Coleman. It's going to be close, but I think we stuffed him there. P.J. Williams, Clinton Stevens come in there, double-team that one, bring him down, and we'll force another Philadelphia punt. So defense stepping up really here in the second half. See what our offense can do. And that's a big-time play to O.J. Howard up to the 49-yard line. Gain of 29 yards there. And that's a great way to start a drive here near the end of the third quarter. And actually, that will bring us to the end. And now we head to the fourth quarter with a 13-point lead here. And with this drive, a chance to add on some more. Third and 15, though. Going to be a tough situation. But Luck is going to find DeWitt Allen. He uses that big body to box out the corner. Comes away with the catch. Breaks the tackle. Picks up even more yards. And we have a first down. So first and 10 from the 35 play action. Luck looking. Trying to find anybody. And he's got somebody. That's going to be DeWitt Allen once again. Has the catch. And he's down to around the 7-yard line. Gain a 28, and DeWitt Allen is holding his shoulder. So hopefully we are going very thin now, wide receiver. So hopefully that is not something serious. And on first and goal, Jordan Howard, nobody there, comes away with the score. His first one of this ball game, touchdown machine so far this year. He has really been cashing in on those goal line situations. And now we have ourselves a 30-10 ball game here. So Philadelphia really needs to do something quick. Dislocate it for DeWitt Allen. Dislocate shoulder. He will be out for the rest of this game. Hopefully, it'll, hopefully should be good going forward. We'll have to uh, check that status as Philadelphia starts off a good drive there. Finding Milliner there for the catch. So from the 45, Wentz is going to take this himself. Got a really good block there. Makes another juke move. And, wow, nice run there by Wentz, picking up about 19 yards up to the 36-yard line. So third and four, Wentz going underneath, and that's going to be completed but short. But uh, the right way to score is they're definitely going to go for this one here. So fourth and one, Wentz looking, rolling out, trying to get rid of it. Can he find anybody? Pressure coming in his face. We miss him, and he finds his receiver, Brennan, just like the touchdown play. Almost about the same thing. Guys right there just about to get him but Wentz finds his receivers just in time Brennan there with the catch and now a goal to go situation here for the third time they have yet to uh, really cash in on these situations as we stop them there and now this will bring up a second and goal from the five Wentz and look at that play by Miles Garrett came in I believe unblocked and comes away they're going to just call it a, a tackle for loss not a sack but unbelievable play there from Miles Garrett. Now bringing up a third and goal as Wentz looking, stepping up, trying to find something. He's going to dump it down, and that's going to be completed. But uh, now bring up a fourth and goal here from the – this is pretty much, uh, I would say, last chance here for Philadelphia. 
as Wentz looking, trying to find something, and it's going to be tipped in the air, but it's going to be caught! Nelson Aguilar, are you serious? I thought that was going to be picked off. Gets popped in the air. Aguilar comes down with it for the touchdown. So Philadelphia keeping the slim hopes alive here. Six minutes left in this ball game. So what can we do? Can we? So let's see what uh, the closer Jordan Howard can do. Picks up eight there on first down. Now we go to Otha Perry, and Perry's going to pick up the first down to the 37-yard line. So now we're under five minutes left in this ball game. First and ten. Back to Jordan Howard. Nice block in there on the edge, and he's going to pick up just close to the first down. I think it'll be inches. And it's going to be yeah, second and inches here from the 47. Back to Howard. More blocking. Really good blocking once again. And another first down. So keep that clock rolling. And we'll bring us down to the two-minute warning. So what a heck of a drive here by this offense. Wasting at least four minutes already off this clock. And now bringing up a huge third and ten. Luck going to just take this one himself. Now well, he's looking. Yep, he's going to go forward. And he is going to pick up the first down. I know he's going to be out of bounds to stop the clock. But now... That's going to give us, if we can get a first down here, this will pretty much be the ball game. So we're going to hand off to Otha Perry. Oh, man, he had a chance there. Just getting tripped up, and Philadelphia uses the timeout. Back to Perry on the ground. Second and five, digging forward. He is close to the first down to the 27. So Philadelphia uses another timeout. Third and one. Perry's going to get stuffed there. So Philadelphia uses their last timeout. We're going to go for it. We get this first down. Ball game's over. Going to Jordan Howard. And he's got the first down. That's pretty much going to do it. We can just kneel this one out now. So we're going to put Philadelphia at a tough situation here going forward in the season. They are now 2-5. and five. Not what you want. We are 7-0. and oh, Looking like a uh, tough team here as Andrew Luck once again. Outstanding game. This time using his legs a lot more maybe than his arm. Uh, Howard coming away with a pretty decent game. And the receivers, Perryman, really stepped up. Ross with the huge touchdown. Uh, I think DeWitt Allen will be back next, next week, so um, at least we won't lose him. And defense, once again, making it tough for the opponents. Uh, coverage really good. Pressure in the quarterback's face. And really stepping up in the red zone. Uh, you know, that almost like that bend but don't break defense. Looking pretty good. This team, I said it the last time, maybe one of the best teams I've ever had, and it's looking like it here. So the Giants are coming up. Um, there's a good chance I might just super sim that game, and then we'll continue on from there. One and six team, I think we can beat them. I just, you know, I think super sim is probably the best bet, and we'll go from there and probably just head into week 10, and uh, that's probably what will happen. So that's pretty much going to do it for this one. Team still looking good. And we'll try to defend our uh, Super Bowl championship uh, after last year. And we see right now it's looking pretty good. So that's going to do it for this one. If you please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.